GPS for Kim is software for your Android or iPhone, which allows photographers to easily log GPS locations for their photographs. Using Adobe Lightroom or GPS for Cam's desktop, desktop software, photographs can easily be geotagged thanks to the data capture from GPS for Cam. Now, photographers do not need a GPS, um, a GPS device for you know as long as they have a smartphone. Um, photographers uh, they do not need to find a, a new camera with built-in GPS because GPS for Cam can handle that task for you. I mean, it's right on your phone. Your phone is a GPS. So to get started with GPS for Cam, open the app on your phone, choose a mode, and start a new trip before you start shooting um, using your camera. And when you're done, simply you know end the trip, and generate a QR code. Um, that QR code you just need to take a picture of with your camera um, and the advantage of the QR code is that uh, you don't have to manually sync your phone's time with your camera's time because you're taking a picture of it and the GPS for cam um, software will sync that up for you because it's looking for that QR code um, but um, you know when when you add your photographs to to a photo management software like iPhoto or Aperture, Lightroom, anything that uses a map feature, um, you'll be able to see where your photos were taken on the map. And you know, not everyone likes to cares to see that, but you know, a lot of photographers like to have that documented. Um, in fact, a lot of websites like 500 Pixel and Flickr and places like that, they actually um, show a photograph to an audience searching for a certain location based on the GPS coordinates because that just helps results. And that at some point, I'm sure Google uh, will also be looking at, you know, the exit data of an image to help search results as well. They can already read the exit data, so it's just a matter of time before they utilize that exit data for search, for search results. So it's very simple to, um, to, to do this with GPS for Cam. But if you're a Lightroom user, there's a slightly different process you can take. You just make sure that your camera's time is synced up to your phone's time, the date and time. And instead of generating the QR code when you're all said and done, you can export the GPX file with all the coordinates that you just photographed to Dropbox. Or you can email it to yourself or whatever you need to do and go into Lightroom and then there's a in the maps feature there's a way that you could just import the GPX the geo tag the, the geolocation the GPS location whatever you want to call it the photographs location directly into Lightroom without even needing GPS for cam software although the GPS for cam desktop software is also very very easy so either way you do it it's gonna make it easy for you it's just a little bit of extra time if you do it um, using GPS for cam software versus just doing a Lightroom. But either way, there's a little bit of an extra step um, to, to get all this information in there. Um, but what's really cool, which I'm really excited about, and I'm about to show you how this works, is GPS, GPS for cam Pro, um, the, the premium version of GPS for cam for the iPhone and Android, um, it now integrates with the Pebble smartwatch. So this is a really neat thing. Um, the Pebble smartwatch allows you to control um, some of the features of GPS for cam, like the precision of the tracking. It also lets you set markers or each shot. Um, so it lets you look at your location with latitude and longitude or using UTM or any of that fun stuff. Um, so it's really neat and uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit about that so Pebble and GPS for Cam, it's a great match because now you don't have to look at your phone to control the GPS um, on your phone because you can just look at your watch. And it's using uh, Bluetooth 4 low energy. So it's not really draining your phone's battery 
as much as it would if you're constantly looking at your phone to change settings of the GPS precision. So wait till you see this. So I wanna walk through how to use GPS for Cam Pro and the Pebble. You can see here I have the Pebble and shake it and get the light to come on. Let's see, get a little closer. You can see there's the Pebble. So I am going to uh, go into GPS for Cam and you can see here it says, please start trip on your phone. So, um, you know, it, it you need to, uh, the, I had the backlight go off very quick, so sorry about that, but uh, saves the battery life on the Pebble. So, um, you have to start the GPS for Cam on the, on the phone. So, I'm right here, here's my phone, and I got GPS for Cam Pro on standard. I'm gonna put an energy saving for the time being, um, and start new trip, and then I can go ahead and I can even name this, so I'm gonna say, demo and now I have it named as demo and you can see here I've got the time the um, the pebble is going sorry about the backlight nothing I can do about it right now so we get a little closer and you can see there's a bunch of different buttons and I can change I can change settings um, I can actually I'm gonna put, put the phone down for a second I can actually go into the settings and change the Precision the capture mode of the, um, of the of you know how GPS for Cam Pro is tracking, and I can go here and I can change some settings like um, the GPS position. Do I want to show latitude and longitude or the UTM? I I show the latitude and longitude, altitude unit, and those are my settings currently. Okay, go back. I can now hit search and get my actual coordinates, the altitude, the accuracy, and the time lapse. And of course, I can go ahead and um, actually trigger a, you know, a, a, an actual frame of where, you know, where I am. Um, so basically what you would do, there's two ways to do this. Um, one way is if you're using uh, Dropbox and GPS for Cam's desktop software, you would actually go ahead and shoot your photos, you know, start shooting away. And you can also hit the center button and now I have latest capture that's what time it was and then it'll sync up down the road if you're um, one you're bringing to Lightroom it'll sync up and also if you're doing with the QR code style using the GPS for cam software it'll sync up so um, that's pretty much this is the setup currently this is you know this is a GPS for your any camera really um, whether your camera has uh, you know is, is older or newer if it does not have GPS GPS for cam is makes it so easy to do to unlock my phone again and so here we go here we are it's still tracking my time and all that stuff on the phone it's still tracking on the pebble you can see there it's still tracking on the pebble and then um, when you're all done if you're doing it with the uh, with Lightroom all you have to do okay so actually let's let's start let's start over again just so you really understand this I started on my on the phone. I see it tracking on the watch. Now I don't have to look at the phone. I don't have to, you know, the phone. The more that you open that, you know, turn the screen on, the more that it's going to drain the battery of your phone. And of course, you need that to last a long time. Um, that's also why I put an energy saver mode for this test as well. Is I want the battery to, to last on my phone. By be, being able to just switch everything and track everything on the watch it actually saves a lot of battery life, a lot of battery life. And it uses Bluetooth uh, LE, which is uh, low energy. So it just really does not drain a lot of battery at all um, transmitting between the two. So you're better off doing it using the watch to actually uh, control what happens. Once you have it going, you start taking your pictures, as I said, and you can actually track, you know, your, your each, each capture if you want. Uh, my suggestion, what I do is I I track the captures, um, you know, when I make a major change in the location. If I'm going, if this is one scene right here, and I'm going from this end to this end, I will track the captures in between so that, um, you know, it's, it's more precise. When you're all done, if you're using um, GPS for Cam's desktop software, all you have to do is hit the QR code and take a picture of this. There it is, right there. You take a picture of this QR code. And then that's it. You go to the you go to the computer, and you actually um, you know Im, you know import that to GPS for Cam software, 
it finds that QR code, it syncs everything up because um, your date and time have to match the phone, so you have to make sure that your date and time um, are all synced up, and and it just adds the the, the GPS data to the files, and then you, we can import it to whatever software you're using, iPhoto, um, Aperture, Apple Photos, Lightroom, you know, whatever you're using, um, it'll automatically show that, um, and it'll show it on Flickr, and it'll show it on 500 pixels and all those sites. The other method is, um, it's good. You want to have this synced up to to Dropbox, and you could do that um, within here. The whole method to sync it up to Dropbox. So you actually want to do that um, because the other method is to. Here's that trip again. It's going to show my location. I can grab the QR code again. Um, you want to uh, have it to Dropbox because now at the same time. Uh, all this data, everything that um, was just created by GPS for Cam, now makes uh, a GPS files and throws it in the Dropbox for this latest trip, which I call demo. And then what I can do is I can open Lightroom and just import everything, um, the the actual GPS file that it creates, import that into Lightroom, and it'll automatically sync up the the, the date and time and locations uh, as long as the date and time on your on your camera match the date and time on your phone it'll sync up perfectly. So um, there's two ways to do it. One, again, is use the QR code and have the GPS for Camp software um, actually do the, 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 you know, the integration, the co combination, and um, let it automatically figure it all out. Or make sure everything is precise between your camera and your phone, t date and time, and let um, Lightroom just import those GPS files. You can see here that it's, the pebble is still sitting here you know, it's not capturing right now because I didn't start a new capture, enough, but I could start a new capture on my phone and um, it'll start automatically. So it's really cool. Uh, again, if you're using GPS for Cam, if you uh, are using it a lot, I strongly recommend using it with the Pebble because it'll save your battery life on your phone so you're not constantly going into it and trying to adjust things from there. So there you go. Um, I'll show you how to do the import in a little bit. Okay, so now we're here we are in GPS for Cam. Um, it's, I have to pick the directory where to find the photos to tag, and I'm going to choose this one. So this is actually a bunch of raw files that I was shooting when I was doing the test. And then here is the directory of where to put the results. So I'm going to choose another folder called Geotagged, and then I'm going to hit Go. Now, it's going to look for the GPS data, so it's actually grabbing the QR code that was photographed in the last frame, which you can actually see right here. There's actually a QR code. So it's grabbing all that data that the QR code registered, and look, one trip has been decoded, one GPX file has been generated, GPS information has been added in three photos, creation date specify in the metadata of three photos have been synchronized with the phone's clock, creation of three files have been overwritten by dates specified in metadata, four photos have not been touched because they have not been photographed during one of the decoded trips. So as you can see, it actually knows which photos were taken at the right times based on the camera's date and time. Okay, so the um, it actually will find it's not you know it, it actually will find if you changed um, if you did another GPS for cam trip, it'll actually do what um, was only done during that one QR code. And of course, if you had multiple QR codes, it'll actually you know figure it all out in one shot. And there you go. So this is how you would do it in GPS for Cam software. And now if I actually brought these, I'd have to figure out which one actually has a GPS location in it. Um, but uh, let's see if I can figure it out real quick, real quick. If it's here, I probably have to go into bridge to figure it out. Not a big deal. Um, so I can bring it into iPhoto and we'll see the map. So here we are in Lightroom. You can actually see that I have three geotagged and uh, four of which do not have uh, the you know, the, the metadata, the EXIF uh, data with a geolocation. So I can go to places that I can actually get, you know, where it was shot. Um, there's no faces, of course. Let's go back to the photos. But you can see here that it's actually finding the location. Uh, all I did was use my phone. I used my iPhone with GPS for Cam. Now I want to show you how to do it in Lightroom, which is, of course, a little different, um, but also a possibility. When you're inside of Lightroom, it's a little different how this works because you don't need the um, the GPS for Cam software 
to automatically sync it. Um, as long as your um, you know your date and time match the the phone, you know uh, the date and time of your camera match your phone, this should work perfectly fine. So basically, what you need to do is create a collection. That's what I do. I import and then I have a in progress and then completed. Uh, for customers, so I just put GPS 4 cam demo in um, my in progress, and then I select them all, and then I'm going to the map module. You can see here that it has the map. Um, it's just on the last location that I looked, um, and you can see that all the photos are selected here. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to go to the menu, map, load track logs, and then go because I exported from GPS 4 cam. Uh, to Dropbox, I actually exported the GPX data. I go to Dropbox, Apps, GPS for Cam, Export, GPX, and then this is the one that I just exported um, in the demo, and I'm going to hit Choose, and then it's going to import it. Of course, it just picked where I was. So it's done. I mean, it is literally done. You can see here that all the photos are now um, geotagged. So I've said it before, I'm just going to say it again, if you do not have a GPS in your camera, if you, you know, were considering it, um, and you already own an Android or an iPhone, um, then you don't really need a GPS because you already have one with you at all times. And if you are one that likes technology, the new Pebble integration is fantastic. It saves your phone's battery life even more. And you got your GPS data at your wrist, um, which is usually up near your head anyway, near you know in plain eyesight because um, you're already have you know your hand, both hands on your camera. So um, there you go. Go to GPS the number four cam.com to read more. Um, see what other people are saying. There's a simple uh, guide of how to use it. Um, you can always come back to my video tutorial as well and check out my original review of GPS 4 cam as well. Um, it has changed a little bit between the two um, and the new Pebble integration of course is only available in GPS 4 cam Pro now. Um, and again, if you um, do want to get a Pebble, uh, then if you have GPS 4 cam, you get a, a nice discount um, within the GPS 4 cam app. A GPS 4 cam Pro app, sorry about that. So geotag your photographs, no matter what camera you're using. No need to buy an, an expensive GPS module or a camera with built-in GPS to get your photos geotagged. There you go, iPhone or iOS and Android. Thanks for watching.